Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this sort of different type of video, I just wanted to cover how I learned JavaScript, everything I did, and sort of like a hands-on guide on learning JavaScript. Um, you know, I I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys saying, you know, how did you learn JavaScript? I'm struggling with JavaScript. So hopefully this video clarifies some of the issues and things I did to learn uh, JavaScript. And with that being said, uh, let's just get right into it. I have this app called Excalidraw to, you know, uh, show you guys more of a, you know, cool hands-on experience. So um, with that being said, yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first thing I did to learn JavaScript, guys, is I went to a platform, okay? Now, a lot of people here will kind of overcomplicate this because, you know, they want to pick the perfect platform. But from my experience, just pick a place, you know, maybe it's Free Code Camp, maybe it's Code Academy. Just pick a place where you can write code. So this one was a JavaScript algorithms and data structures course with Free Code Camp, and it was amazing. So they have like a ton of lessons. So 113 here, 29, and they're short lessons. But the main value from these things is that you can code in the code editor right in the application. So not only are you learning sort of how things work, but you're also coding alongside and you're building with them. Now, obviously you're not gonna master code by just coding alongside here, but this sort of, you know, reading and learning and then applying right away is extremely, extremely valuable. So the first thing you wanna do then is just find a place where you can learn and just go with it, okay? Just make sure that it's like a full course, not maybe like a half course. And you can find really anything for free, like YouTube and uh, Code Academy, like we said, and Free Code Camp. So the first part is just find the platform. Now within the platform, guys, we need to talk about some things, okay? The first thing is something that I, I really don't see anyone talk about, and it is feeling lost because a lot of you, like myself, will struggle learning JavaScript. Maybe you're learning variables, maybe that's like something you're struggling with, maybe it's local scope and functions, and you may not know what's going on, you may feel a bit overwhelmed, and um, it would be a little scary, and that's totally understandable. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, you will feel lost, okay, maybe you haven't started. But what you wanna do is when you feel lost, look up the answers, okay? So let's say you're going through the, I don't know, comparison and equ equality operator, okay? Maybe this is something you're struggling with, okay? Instead of just skipping it or giving up, look up how this works. Maybe head over to chat GPT, maybe look up the answer, or even better, if you were like really lost, maybe just look up the answer for the specific place. But the main idea, guys, is that when you're feeling lost, which you will, everyone feels lost, is not to feel bad, but instead to have this sort of initiative to look up the answer. Programming is all about this. Today I was building an authentication part of my app. I was feeling lost, so I looked up, I, I Googled the answer. You know, that's what coding is. You're just Googling and you're kind of getting the help from that way and you're applying it into your own project. So when you are feeling lost, take what you are struggling with and look up the answer okay and this teaches you to kind of be humble about coding because you know everyone struggles with it like i just talked about and when you just appreciate that and you know that that struggle is coming you kind of expect it and prepare for it adequately okay so when you're feeling lost again just look up the answer and you'll be fine and the next aspect of your uh, coding journey that i wanted to talk about within the platform is the actual source okay source of learning and by this, I mean, a lot of people think that this is where you will learn code, okay? They head over to Free Code Camp or Code Academy, they do all the lessons, and they think that by the end of it, they will be a full stack developer. The same things are promised in boot camps, you know, they promise you to become a full stack developer in a certain amount of time. And I feel like that is a false expectation and a false promise for a lot of developers. Um, I, I know this because I went through this, but also uh, talking to a lot of you guys, you also expect this too. What these learning platforms are supposed to be, and I'm sorry if I'm going into too much detail, but I think it's quite important, is that these platforms are supposed to offer you the knowledge so that you can apply it and learn it in the future. So this is what I mean. These platforms right here, everything you learn here, 
you know, basic JavaScript, ES6, regular expressions. They're not for you to be an expert at. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, these are supposed to be ways for you to acknowledge that these things exist in JavaScript. So you know that, you know what a variable is. You kind of know about functions. You kind of know about asynchronous functions and APIs, but you don't actually fully become an expert in it within these actual platforms. Where you will learn and become an expert at these things, guys, is not through the platform, but by, which we will talk about in a bit, projects, okay? By building out your own projects. So instead of thinking, I did this mistake, Instead of thinking that you can learn everything within this platform, think of it as a way of finding out what you don't know, okay? If you're an absolute beginner, you will not know about variables. Like you don't even know about variables. You don't know it even exists, let alone what it is, okay? So I I, I, I think the ideal way of approaching learning on these platforms and as a beginner within JavaScript is to just look at the platform as a way of finding out what exists and trying your best to understand about it, but don't expect to know it perfectly, okay? Instead, what you would want to do and the sort of like mindset you should have is look at these platforms as a way of learning what you don't know, kind of getting a feel of what it is, and then where you will learn and what we will talk about right now is through your own projects because in your projects that's when you're going to actually fully learn it because you're going to have to apply it on your own okay so the final aspect of learning javascript then is this project so in the platform you learn about topics and you kind of get a good feel of it you know you may feel lost so you look up the answers and you know you're, you're just going through the groove you're learning about apis you're learning about these things you're kind of figuring out what they mean and then sort of applying it but you don't really know what's going on in your projects is where the real learning starts. Now, I recommend you finish the entire course before doing projects. So I know in some of them, they have projects like over here, you know, you can do like, you have, there's like five projects here, but you get the answers. You know, you can look up the answers right away. In your coding projects, what you wanna do is build stuff. So let me just get this, build things you like, okay? Now I'll put this over here. Essentially, once you've finished JavaScript, okay, in the platform, you've known it was a source of learning, you, you've kind of gone through the groove and you've, you, you've looked up answers and you felt lost. Now it's time to build. And by building things you like, things you enjoy that's in your field, you will solidify your learning. So let me give you an example, okay? You may know about functions because you did it on like free code camp, okay? You know what it does, but when it comes time to actually applying it, you're gonna actually have to use it in a specific scenario, which is how code works. Like in a platform, you're using it broadly. You're just learning how it works. But in a project, you're gonna have to use it specifically for a specific aspect of your code. And what's important here, guys, is that projects are going to be difficult for you, okay? When I started doing projects, I felt extremely lost and quite overwhelmed. And um, it, it was a difficult time because there's like a big learning barrier. Like you you were always coddled in the platform. You always had the answers within the platform. But when it comes time to doing projects, you're going to have to learn by, you know, trying to do it, looking up the answers again and applying it into your own projects, okay? And here, what I did is to learn JavaScript, and here's the main aspect, is I built things that I enjoyed. So, for example, I like sleep, like I'm pretty obsessed with sleep, not in like, I like studying about sleep, that's a better way of putting it, and I did a sleep calculator using JavaScript. You know, you calculated what the ideal amount of sleep is, and I built that, and it wasn't complicated, it was very simple, it was maybe like, 20 lines of code. And at the time that was a lot for me, but I built it using JavaScript. And what that did for me was it gave me the, not only the confidence to learn more, but it allowed me to apply the things I was learning in a practical manner. Again, it's one thing to learn JavaScript on a platform because you have the answers right away and it's a broad way of looking at things. And it's another to take what you've learned like functions 
and then apply it into a specific scenario like a landing page or like a sleep calculator. So what you want to do is once you've done the platform, you're not, you're not going to feel ready, by the way, you're going to feel really scared because it's such a big jump. But once you've done the course, okay, head straight into projects, you know, maybe it's a landing page, maybe it's an about you page, you know, like a personal portfolio, maybe it's a sports app, like a simple app where it like shows random names of soccer players. I don't know what it is, but build things you like. Okay. And what I'm going to tell you here is you're going to feel very, very lost. And again, if we just take this over here, oh, you know what, take this and do it here when you are feeling lost. Okay. Because you're not going to know what's going to happen. You're not, you're not going to go what's going on. You're not going to know, you know, the things, how it's going to apply to your project, you're going to feel overwhelmed. So when you are starting with the project, look up when you're lost. So maybe you have to create, you know, you need to create a function. Okay. Look it up, look up how to make a function for X scenario, or um, I don't know how to randomize strings. You know, maybe you're building like a randomizer app, find ways around your struggles through Googling. Because that is, again, where you will learn because you're going to have to take what you learn from Google and specifically apply it to your own scenario. Because there's not going to be things like, there's not going to be ways, you know, no, how am I going to say this? Like, it's your own scenario. You know, what you're going to find on Google is not going to be specific to your scenario. Okay, you're going to have to take what you take. You're going to take what you learn on Google and then implement it into your own, pro own project. And what you will find is though you may fail, you may struggle, which you might fail, like I failed in my first couple projects, is that over, over constantly doing these projects and constantly improving, you will find that it gets easier. It's, you, you'll find it easier to Google and you'll remember code more because you're applying it this way. Okay, so essentially, guys, um, this is basically how I learned JavaScript. I did the platform. When I felt lost, I looked it up uh, by looking at it as a source of learning, um, finding out what you don't know. And then once I did that, I did the projects. And though it was difficult, I Googled and I built things I liked. And by doing these, I enjoyed it. Okay. And that's really it. I That's how I learned JavaScript. And I'm continually doing projects and learning some more. And honestly, this could be applied to anything like Python and, and stuff like that. But it doesn't have to be complicated, guys. You know, this was my way of learning it. I really enjoyed it. And hopefully uh, this video gave you value. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, happy coding. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.